After almost a year of research, a state commission has come out with a draft report laying out recommendations for how leaders can invest millions of dollars to strengthen Montana's behavioral health system. The commission came out of the last legislative session when lawmakers set aside $300 million to make investments in a system for future generations. State Representative Bob Keenan, a Republican from Big Fork, chairs that commission. He says one of the overall goals in the report is strengthening community-based crisis response to take pressure off of of jails, emergency rooms, and the state hospital. And he says they'll keep discussing their report at a meeting later this month and in hearings with legislative committees later in the summer. It's an overwhelming project. Some people would uh, would try to tell me that it's an impossible task, but um, the commission, the executive branch, the Department of Public Health Human Services, the legislators that are involved, um, they are they're up to the challenge. It's not a quick fix. The commission has also recommended near-term initiatives that the state has already started implementing. Keenan says one of the most successful so far has been providing financial incentives for Montana group homes. Helena Public Schools are among eight schools and communities across the state to receive a $75,000 grant from No Kid Hungry. The money will be used in conjunction with new rules that give groups that provide summer meals more flexibility in providing meals that kids do not have to eat on site. In Helena, the free summer meal program allows youth age 18 and under to receive free food at various sites regardless of enrollment or income. Food Service Director Robert Worthy told MTN last week that in 2023, the program served more than 63,000 meals. A recent survey done by No Kid Hungry found more than 80 percent of rural families supported a uh, rather reported spending more on food in the summer and that the food average food bill increased by $168 a month.